The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store, better brands, bigger savings. Buy, pick, and save, new every day. Buy Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, providing sports medicine expertise to high school athletes and teams. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds. Who do you trust when buying diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds is the answer. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Hi and welcome to the Kohl Center in Madison. It's the Boys State WIA Basketball Tournament celebrating their 100th anniversary. I'm Lance Allen from today's DMJ4. Now Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Tonight, of course, we've got plenty of state tournament highlights featuring a number of our local teams. We'll start the show tonight by meeting a young man who's led his team to its first trip to the state tournament. Brad Preter introduces us to our Boston Store featured student athlete. Taiwan Jones felt like a lottery winner the first time he stepped on the court at the Kohl Center. I felt like I won a million dollars, sir. <laughs> it was so unbelievable and crazy. On Thursday, Jones and his teammates from Young Cogs Prep, a small choice school located near 35th and Hampton in Milwaukee, made the school's first state tournament appearance. Jones came in averaging 27 points per game. He struggled early on against Washburn, but it wouldn't take too long before he got going. I say settle down, play your game, get to the basket, uh, get your confidence, and uh, I was very impressed with him. Jones went on to score a game-high 29 points, shooting 10 of 17 from the field, and sinking all eight of his free throw attempts. Third-year coach Tim Rickert says Taiwan is a leader whose teammates like him for more than just his basketball skills. Great character. Uh, at times, you know, he's, he's a goofball, but uh, he knows when to get serious. Uh, and uh, he, he's just fun to be around. The, the team loves him, uh, and I love him too. Rickard says Taiwan's leadership skills may have something to do with the fact that he's the oldest of 10 kids in his family. You ever been to the zoo? It's just like that. It's so many of my brothers and sisters running around that I love them to death. I, I just got to help my mother the best way I can. When I have to practice a long, hard practice, a long, hard day of practice, I go home. I, I help my brothers and sisters with their homework, make sure they do their homework first. Then I do my homework, and then I go work out to finish off my day. While Jones took over to some degree against Washburn, he also had plenty of help from his teammates. Trailing by seven after a quarter, Young Cogs battled back to tie the game at the half. The Eagles pulled away by making plays like this one. Freshman Jonte Peterson hitting D'Angelo Crawford, who makes the acrobatic layup. And sophomore Travoris Griffin driving unchecked to the basket. Young Cogs prep beat Washburn 59-48 to advance to the Division V championship game. Jones then told reporters that his team had always believed. The only person on our side was God. And we, there ain't nothing down there but faith, and we had faith the whole way since day one. And it's really unbelievable to know that we really, we, we is really here, we really did it. As the Eagles prepared for the title game, their coach reflected on what Taiwan has meant to their program. Since uh, day one, uh, when I met him sophomore year, his sophomore year, I knew, I knew he was one of the fastest players I've ever seen. Uh, and it, creative, gets to the basket, and he's improved his jump shot. Uh, his rotation got a lot better and he stepped it up defensively and he just became a complete player. In my eyes, he's one of the uh, top players in the, in the state. Congratulations to Taiwan and his Eagle teammates for making the trip to Madison. Taiwan receives his student athlete plaque courtesy of Boston Store. We'll be right back on Preps Plus. Hi, I'm Taylor Aarons of the Milwaukee Admirals. Stay tuned for more Preps Plus. Save big at Menards. How big? 11% big. This big. Bigger. 11% bigger. With 11% make it brighter. No, 11% brighter. Softer? Uh-uh. 11% softer. Save 11% on blocks. Every block. Save 11% on appliances. All appliances. Save 11% on paint. That's right, all the paint. From this to this, or even this. There's no end to the possibilities with an 11% rebate on your entire purchase. Hurry in for big savings. 
What if you had a serious illness, but you never lost hope? That's how you'll feel at Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network. Here, specialized teams of experts focus entirely on you, top to bottom, inside and out, looking at every treatment option involving you in every decision. Our comprehensive academic approach puts you at the center of it all, giving you the hope you need to turn what ifs into what is possible. We're back with you in Madison on Preps Plus, and Mark, it is so cool to see the history of the game on display here at the Kohl Center. That's right, Lance, the WIA did a nice job with all the historical displays here. And now it's time to check out the local hoops teams in action in the 100th Boys State Basketball Tournament. Let's roll the Preps Plus highlights. The East Troy Trojans were trying to secure a spot in the Division III state championship game as the Trojans faced off against Xavier Hawks out of Appleton. This basket here by Kyle Van Hammond will be the Hawks' only lead of the game until the last six seconds. East Troy on the break and Connor Mitchell will find his boy Jacob Ramza trailing the play. He pops the three and Ramza finished with a double-double 12 points to go along with 12 rebounds. Connor Mitchell had himself a great game before falling out of this one. Check out the nice spin move, the one-hand shot over the defense. Trojans up six at the end of the third. Late in the fourth quarter, Xavier on the run. Matt Kinderman will pull up for three on the fast break. He is money in the bank. East Troy Will Ivernsey will match him on the other end of the floor. He gets this three-pointer to fall. Trojans up four. But down the stretch, East Troy would miss three straight free throws. Xavier down one with six seconds left. And Sam Burkhart is as cool as the other side of the pillow. He makes two big free throws, putting the Hawks up one. East Troy has one last shot to win it all. Will Iversee shot is short. And Xavier wins 70-69, to ending the Trojan season. This one hurts because it was, it was such a we, we played so well. That's a heck of a high school basketball game. It's a tough one. I mean, it's a tough one to swallow. Uh, as a senior, you know, you're, you're all done with high school basketball. But, I mean, to make it to state, make that late run, it's been a heck of a season. Felt like we could have won one more game, but you know, it's the way it turns out, missing free throws in the end, so. After a big win Friday in the state semifinals, the Brown Deer Falcons found themselves playing once again on championship Saturday. Brown Deer looking to win their second straight Division III state championship, but first the Falcons have to beat a tough Xavier Hawks squad. Brown Deer comes out flying. Great offense here. The ball never touches the floor, and Zach Bond finishes the layup. But Xavier would break the press, and Matt DeYoung would knock down the tray, putting the Hawks up three. Taurus Adams had a monster game in this one. This is three of his 16 points to go along with 14 rebounds. Xavier Zach Sims would bury the trait, but the Hawks shoot six for 29 from behind the arc. Arguably, he's one of the best point guards in the entire state. Lorenzo Byers showing off the pull-up game to end the third quarter. Brown Deer up 56-41. Fourth quarter, the Hawks still fighting. Matt Kinderman spin move off the glass, nothing but net. Brown Deer out in the open court, and this layup plus the foul by Donovan Lucas seals the deal, and he shows us he's been in the weight room. Brown Deer up 21 points at this point. The Falcon fans are excited to see their team repeat. Let the celebration begin. Falcons win back-to-back -back Division III state championships, even when everyone else doubted this team coming into the regular season. We had a whole lot in the cupboard, but uh, we were certainly confident with what we had. Uh, as far as uh, who was coming back. And so, yeah, you know, to motivate these guys and tell them, hey, uh, we got a lot coming back, we got to go get another one. Uh, we used that all season and, and it, seemed to, it seemed to work out well for us. Well, last year we were very hungry because it was our first time up here. And this year we were even more hungry to get a second uh, state championship. Last year, I know we were very hungry to come up here and be able to playing the state championship game, and then this year we were even more hungrier, like Zell said. All 
Of the 20 schools that made it to the state tournament, seven are from Southeast Wisconsin. Let's see who made it to the championship games. Let's roll the Menards Game of the Week. It hasn't been the usual dominating season for Germantown this year. A lot of close games, but the bottom line, they're back here in Madison playing for a state championship. And tonight they try to make history against Stevens Point. The Warhawks are shooting for their fourth straight gold ball. That would tie Randolph and Whitefish Bay Dominican for best run all time. And it looked good early. Juwan McLeod hits the floater, and G-Town is off and running up 6-3. Time for Stevens Point to dial up Sam Hauser, as the junior had a quarter to remember. He had four three-pointers and scored all 16 Panther points in the period. Spash led 16-12 after one. Hauser gets some help in the second. Off the loose ball scramble, Trev Anderson drains a three of his own. 24-12 Panthers on a 14-0 run. But the three-time champs rally before half. First, it's Max Keep with this bomb from outside. Then it's McLeod taking it to the rack. He had a team high 15. Germantown within striking distance, down just eight at halftime. The Warhawks chip away some more in the third. McLeod gets a step on Hauser for the deuce. The lead is down to seven. Then Brian Studer cans this three ball, and G-Town can feel it, down just six. But the Panthers close out the quarter with a 9-3 run to regain control. Anderson with a rare miss, but Joey Hauser is there for the tip-in. Then it's Hauser going strong to the hoop. Stevens Point can taste that championship, up 45-32 after three. No let up for the Panthers in the fourth. Anderson weaves through the Warhawk defense and finishes with a pretty scoop shot. The advantage grows to 16. Finally, it's Anderson from way outside. He poured in a game high 25, sharing top honors with Hauser. For the first time since 2011, the gold ball will not reside at Germantown High School, as Stevens Point makes a huge statement with a resounding 67-51 victory. Their team overall doesn't have a lot of weak points. Um, you know, they came out, they executed, we necessarily didn't. We didn't take advantage of our strengths, and uh, they played really well tonight. And you, you got to tip your hats off to them. That team is the best team in the state easily, um, and they proved it tonight. Um, so my goal is how, how can we figure out a way to, to try to beat them? And who knows, maybe we'll never play them again. Hopefully we, we do. Stick around. We've got more State Boys Hoops highlights on the way. Plus, we'll visit with a young Milwaukee Admiral who comes from a state that you might not think is very big in hockey. And of course, for all your state tournament coverage, be sure to go to jsonline.com. Preps Plus will be right back. At Pick and Save, we know timing is everything. The quicker we can get produce to you, the fresher it tastes like our locally grown apples that go from the orchards to our stores in less than 24 hours. Doing what matters for your family. Every hour, every minute, every meal. Pick and save. New every day. When you're diamond shopping, variety is important. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll show you multiple diamonds side by side underneath the microscope and show you what to look for when buying a diamond. GIA graduate gemologists are on staff for expert diamond grading. Robert Hack has affordable prices on all diamonds, including diamonds certified by the GIA. Need a mounting for your diamond? Our selection is huge. Buy your diamonds today at Robert Hack Diamonds or visit roberthackdiamonds.com. Diamonds are your best friend. Taylor Aronson earned a call-up to the Nashville Predators in February. The Milwaukee Admirals defenseman hopes to earn another call-up and a much longer stay next time. Aronson is our guest as Pick and Save presents From Preps to Pros.
Hockey was the only sport that I was allowed to play at four years old. Every other sport you had to play at five. You had to be five years old to be able to play. So hockey I started out with and then stuck with it. Taylor Aronson grew up in California where hockey is still expanding. He did a lot of traveling like most hockey players and recalls some fond memories of his early days in the sport. Playing the Detroit teams and beating them was always a plus because they hated us and we were the new style and we came out and when we beat them it was awesome. They hated it. The parents hated it. That was the best part. Like the parents would lose it and they'd be so mad. Like how can California kids come out and beat Detroit, our Detroit boys? That was just the best part I think. Beginning his hockey career early on and sticking with it over the years has meant that Taylor has played for the LA Junior Kings, the Portland Winterhawks, was then drafted by Nashville in 2011, and has since played for the Cincinnati Cyclones and the Admirals. You, never, you always think it could come, but you never know if it actually will. There's so many people that are playing, there's so many talented players out there, anything can happen really. And you gotta be at the right place at the right time in a lot of positions. Aronson is still waiting for his time to come where he'll be in the right place at the right time to get his first minutes in the NHL. I got called up uh, a couple weeks ago. It was only for a game, but I didn't get to play. So I mean, it's kind of like you got a taste in your mouth and you're just like, ah, I want to get my first game, you know, like I want to. But you got to wait your time and you got to do the right things where you are and, and hopefully it'll come. And doing the right things is what, in Taylor's opinion, makes someone a true pro how you act day to day in each moment. Like you hold yourself up to a higher standard and people are gonna notice that. I mean, if you do the right things consistently, people are gonna notice it and maybe follow along or see that that's what they wanna become and whatnot. I think that's what I did. You know, I saw you read off people and you see how people act in front of situations and you take a grain of salt from each person and you see how you want to um, be seen in the public eye. Last week we saw Divine Savior Holy Angels, Pius XI, and Whitewater all earn girls state basketball championships. The Whitewater Whippets got the least attention of the three, even though they went undefeated. We honor Whitewater, our Robert Hag Diamonds Team of the Week. The best way to make history is to write it, and that is exactly what the Whitewater Girls basketball team did this year as they came home from the WIAA state championship game with the school's first ever golden ball. Going into the game, we knew we just had to stay calm like, like we had the night before, play our game. We knew rebounds would be big. We were going to just our normal game plan. So I think we knew that if we played our game, we'd come out with the win. When the buzzer goes off at the final game, first thing I look at is Rebecca Schumacher and she's running at me and I'm running at her and I'm crying of happiness and she's laughing and I think seeing, it was a great moment for me, you know, winning, but seeing my teammates like they were, I think that just really, that was the best moment. Not only did these Whippets come home with the girls program's first golden ball ever, but they also went undefeated on the season with a 28-0 record. I think it's cool because no one else has done it for Whitewater in basketball and just making history and stuff, it's awesome. Making history is what it was all about as coach Judy Harms brought a theme to the beginning of the season that couldn't have been more appropriate. Going into the season I knew there was a chance and so we said the best way to make history is to write it and I do believe in that statement and we just have centered everything around that uh, where we wanted to write our story and whatever it is it is. In this case, uh, I don't think it was a fairy tale can come true because I do think we have the, the power to make it reality. And, uh, and wow, what a, what a year. <laughs> to be able to accomplish this is awesome. And not only for myself, but for my coach, you know, the whole community, the school, they all wanted this. I'm just so proud that we could bring a, bring a championship home. Congratulations, Whitewater, for being state champions and for being this week's Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. Stick around. We've got one final helping of state hoop highlights on the way. That's up next on Preps Plus. At Pick and Save, we know timing is everything. The quicker we can get produce to you, the fresher it tastes like the premium strawberries we have delivered fresh to our stores each and every day. Doing what matters for your family every hour, 
every minute, every meal. Pick and save. New every day. When you're diamond shopping, variety is important. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll show you multiple diamonds side by side underneath the microscope and show you what to look for when buying a diamond. GIA graduate gemologists are on staff for expert diamond grading. Robert Hack has affordable prices on all diamonds, including diamonds certified by the GIA. Need a mounting for your diamond? Our selection is huge. Buy your diamonds today at Robert Hack Diamonds or visit roberthackdiamonds.com. Diamonds are your best friend. Imagine you're diagnosed with something serious. How far would you go to find the best treatments? The best doctors? A hundred miles? A thousand? How about right in your neighborhood? With Freydert and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, renowned physicians and breakthrough treatments are practically outside your door. Three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors all connected to the region's only academic medical center. Now what is possible is closer than ever. Call to find the right doctor for you. Save big at Menards. How big? 11% big. This big. Bigger. 11% bigger. With 11% make it brighter. No, 11% brighter. Softer? Uh-uh. 11% softer. Save 11% on blocks. Every block. Save 11% on appliances. All appliances. Save 11% on paint. That's right, all the paint. From this to this, or even this. There's no end to the possibilities with an 11% rebate on your entire purchase. Hurry in for big savings. Overhead sports, that includes baseball with overhead throwing, but also sports such as racquetball, tennis, volleyball, even swimming can put excessive stress on the shoulder. The common shoulder injuries we see with young athletes oftentimes have to do with instability or in overuse injuries, the shoulder rotator cuff or the labrum. The best way to reduce the risk of injury is to keep your rotator cuff strong. Your rotator cuff is a group of muscles that keeps the shoulder centered and in place and reduces the risk to other structures about the shoulder. One of the exercises that is important in keeping the cuff strong would be external rotation against resistance. Anytime you're experiencing shoulder pain, you need to see your certified athletic trainer, your physical therapist, or your physician. They can do the appropriate testing and do the proper physical exam to make a diagnosis and make sure you can go back and play safely. Here at the Sports Medicine Center, if you're an overhead throwing athlete, we also might put you through a motion analysis study to determine if you're putting excessive stress on the shoulder joint. For more information, visit freighter.com slash sports. While the WIA celebrated its 100th boys state basketball tournament, there were some teams here at state that wanted to make history of their own. We've got more action in the Preps Plus Spotlight. As you can see from their warm-up shirts, the Dominican Knights are indeed back for more. The Knights go after their fourth consecutive Division IV state championship after defeating their state semifinal opponent by 39 points. The Knights dispatched of previously unbeaten Eau Claire Regis in the semis. In the championship contest, they face another unbeaten squad, Mineral Point. Sharpshooting Cy Staver hit a couple of three-pointers in the second quarter, each time drawing the pointers within four points. But Dominican led by seven at the half, and they build upon that when Diamond Stone makes a soft touch pass to Garrison Good. Mineral Point calls timeout because Dominican has doubled its lead to 14 just a couple of minutes into the third quarter. Right out of the timeout, Taiwan Bressler Jr. comes up with the steal. He'll leave it for Garrison Good, and that's easy if you're tall and athletic like he is. Bressler had nine assists, Good one of four nights scoring in double figures. Defensively, the Knights have shot blockers like Kostas and Tedo Kunpo, who had three rejections on the night. The brother of the young Milwaukee Buck, and Tedo Kunpo can take it to the rack and score as well. Dominican fans can look forward to seeing him again next year, and they get two more years of this guy, Jake Bennett, who makes it look easy going to the rack. Next possession, in transition, it's Jake Bennett again, this time for three, Dominican clearly rolling to its fourth straight title. 
Then it's Austin Boutry to Diamond Stone. The All-American Stone had 23 points and 15 rebounds in this one. And when he's double or triple teamed, he finds the open man, in this case, Garrison Good. The Knights are about to finish this one off. And here is the way to do it. Diamond Stone throwing down the rock. Dominican wins it 75-49 to finish the season with a 25-3 record. In Diamond Stone's four years, Dominican racked up 101 wins against just 11 defeats. The Knights become just the second team to win four consecutive WIAA state championships. People run the city, people run the stage, you think it's just me. It's Diamond Stone and Dominican, but it's, you know, Dominican as a whole. And I think um, that shocks a lot of teams and people because we have so many weapons. Usually we tell him, like, you don't have to do this all by yourself, like, we can help you. And, and he knows that. He, he, like, he's, he's built trust over the last three years with us uh, as a team. So I think, he, um, I, think, I think he took a big step in trusting us, too, and saying that we can help him when uh, reaches go. And now to be a part of this Wisconsin history books here, you know, the second team ever to win the four in a row is kind of, you know, you got to kind of pinch yourself a little bit here to believe it's real. Now to the D5 championship game. We met Taiwan Jones and Young Cogs prep earlier in the show. They're taking on Hillsboro for the crown. Second quarter, Jones called for the charge. He'd spend time on the bench with four fouls. And second leading scorer, Jonte Peterson, had gone out earlier with an injury. But the Eagles stayed strong. D'Angelo Crawford wraps the pass around to freshman Yoshiri Brown. Young Cogs up 11 in the third. A little later, that same pair hooks up again. Crawford five assists to go along with 20 points. Then Taiwan Jones back on the court, soft touch. It would be the Eagles only fourth quarter field goal. Max Stockwell scored a game high 28. His bucket brought Hillsborough within four with just over a minute left. But the Eagles would make just enough of their free throws late and they hold on for the 56-50 triumph. Young Cogs prep celebrates its first state championship the Eagles say anyone who doubted them was just motivating them more. Our game plan was to push the ball, but they actually got back uh, pretty well. Uh, and they were just super strong, strongest team we faced all year. So uh, it was a battle. It feels good because once again, nobody believed us, but I'm pretty sure they're believing us now. It helped us and it's gonna help us take, our, take ourselves far in life. It's something we'll never forget. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's been fun hanging out here at the Kohl Center, and Mark, I'm sure it was a blast for all of our local teams here at State. I'm Lance Allen. And I'm Mark Stewart. We'll see you next week on Preps Plus. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store, better brands, bigger savings. Buy Pick and Save, new every day. Buy Freighter the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network providing sports medicine expertise to high school athletes and teams. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds. Who do you trust when buying diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds is the answer. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs.